If you think your heating bill will be high this week, wait until January when the provincial carbon tax goes up again. Natural gas will cost an extra 50 cents a gigajoule, meaning $60 more a year to heat the average home. Diesel and gasoline prices will go up over two cents a litre and propane one and a half cents. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation says the government should delay or cancel this tax increase. Obviously Alberta has been struggling with a recession, unemployment has been quite high. Raising the tax right now is terrible, terrible timing. City utility fees are also going up. Six fifty a month for the new green compost bins starting in January. Now that adds an extra $66 a year, plus $2 more to pick up those blue recycling carts. Wastewater and drainage costs are also going up $11 to $12 a year. However, metered water service is dropping $3. It takes uh, grocery money away, um, travel money away, get back and forth to work. You can't spend much on this, much on that. The taxpayer can only pay so much. And, and we're. We're just stuck between a rock and a hard place. We all have to contribute somehow and uh, hopefully that the province of Alberta will try to have the spending under control rather than waste it away, I would say. If it's any consolation, the city says water rates aren't going up as much as first budgeted. Due to the downturn in the economy, planned increases were reduced between 5 and 10 percent. And the province will issue more carbon levy rebates to homeowners and families in the new year, as long as they meet the income maximums. Tony Ty, Global News.